A typical Coca-Cola bottling plant produces several hundred million products. A small percentage of defects can directly reduce profits. Therefore, Coca-Cola bottling plants make extensive use of statistical process control. The most widely used SPC software in Coca-Cola bottling plants is Datalyzer Spectrum. In 2012, more than 80 plants worldwide are using Datalyzer, and the number of plants is continuously increasing. The purpose of this video is to give you insight into how Datalyzer is typically used on the shop floor of a Coca-Cola bottling plant. Datalyzer Spectrum is very flexible and can be quickly set up for different processes. This diagram demonstrates a simplified flow of the process. In this video we will have a closer look at examples from blow moulding, the filling department, the lab, and the microbiology lab. Data can be entered manually, but it can also be automatically imported from gauges, from databases, Excel files, or PLCs. Throughout all process steps, date and timestamps, and tracking and tracing information are recorded. This means that Datalyzer is not only used for SPC, it also provides the tracing information required when problems occur. Before we look at the detailed steps the operator will perform, we will explain the structure of the data. Data is stored in Datalyzer in characteristics and is displayed in the format of a control chart. This can be a variable characteristic for measurements or an attribute characteristic for defect counts. Because we can have a large number of characteristics, we need to group the characteristics. A group of characteristics is called a part file in Datalyzer. A part file can be a product or a process step. In addition to this sample data model, for large companies we can make two extra layers to group the parts. As well as the main measurement or defect count for a characteristic, Datalyzer can store additional information about the product or process. This additional data is stored as optional parameters. First, we must define the parameters. Different characteristics in a part file are not always measured at the same frequency or at the same process step. To simplify data input, Datalyzer uses sequences. A sequence is a group of characteristics from one part file in a predefined order. If the SPC administrator sets up the data model according to this structure, we will need to have a user-friendly way to present the sequences to the operators. On the shop floor, we install a satellite module on each PC where the data will be entered. Operators can enter data from different process steps or machines in one satellite so we have to create different screens for each process step where data will be entered. These separate screens per process steps are called pages. Because we now have different pages per process step, the SPC administrator can simply send the required sequences to the pages. Let's look at an example. In blow moulding we can have different bottles, for example 1 litre Coca-Cola, 1.5 litre Coca-Cola and 2 litre Coca-Cola. For every part different characteristics will be measured. In this example diameter, volume, top load and various measurements for material distribution. A sequence will be created with a logical name and a frequency, for example 1.5 litre standard bottle once per shift. A selection of characteristics will be assigned to the sequence. In this example, the diameter, volume and top load must be measured once per shift and will be assigned to the sequence. Optional parameters are defined such as operator, shift code and batch number and these parameters are assigned to the part file. In the data entry screen, all this required information comes together. In this example data entry screen, we see the date and time of the measurement, the optional parameters and the required measurements. Now let's see how this is set up in a plant. Datalyzer consists of different modules. 
The SPC administrator uses the administrative module to create characteristics and set up the complete system. The data will be stored in a database. On the shop floor, a satellite module will, will be installed in the different processes. This can be done on existing PCs, for example in the quality lab. Data entered is immediately available in the database. Handhelds or tablets can be used to enter data or view process results. Gauges can be connected to PCs or data can be extracted from external sources. Now let's have a look at a few examples that illustrate how the software will be used on the shop floor. In the blow moulding department many different measurements are taken. For example measurements are taken with the top wave measuring system and various gauges and scales. Top wave data can be automatically sent to Datalyzer. Gauges can send information automatically and the operator will immediately see the results. Let's have a look at the data entry screen for the operator. In this example screen the operator starts a sequence for a 1.5 litre standard bottle and this sequence is executed once per shift. The operator clicks on the name of the sequence and the data entry screen appears. Both the title bar of the chart and the title bar of the data entry box clearly indicate which characteristic is to be measured. The data entry screen in this example is set up in such a way that date and time are automatically entered. The operator name is recorded automatically from a login or the operator can enter it manually. In this simplified example, we only have two optional parameters. The batch number of preforms is included for traceability. When the operator performs the measurements, the data is automatically sent to the data entry fields and the cursor is at the OK button. The operator can verify that everything is correct and click the OK button to continue. When the OK button is pressed, the status of the control chart will be displayed for a predefined time. If the process is in control, the sequence will automatically jump to the next characteristic to be measured. All characteristics will be entered in this way. Now let's see what happens in the case of a problem. In the characteristic perpendicularity, a value indicates that the process is out of control. After the data is entered, the following screen appears. The operator can open the note screen. The operator investigates the problem and if the root cause is found, they can select the cause and action from predefined lists. If the problem is not in the lists, a free note can be entered. The note screen also allows the operator to take a re-measurement. The products are re-measured and if this indicates a measurement error was made, the new measurement can be saved. When all measurements have been taken, the status screen appears again and the satellite is available for other measurements. The status icon for perpendicularity indicates that there was an out of control. From the status screen, the operator has many options for viewing the data. For example, if he wants to get more information about the material distribution of the bottle, he can open the relevant charts. Datalyzer is normally used in all preparation stages of the filling process. We saw an example of blow moulding, but it is used in the same way for analysing data from the lab or the microbiology lab. When the results are available, they can be imported or can be entered manually in a satellite installed in the lab. Datalyzer is not only used to enter measurements. Visual inspection and HACCP checks can be entered. This information will be stored in an attribute chart. When a sequence for visual inspection is started, a control chart with defined defects appears. Based on the list of defects, the operator will inspect the bottle. The operator can get inspection instructions for each defect by clicking on the defect. Verification of correct labels is supported by optional parameters. 
For example, to verify if the correct product is running, the operator can select an item code and scan the barcode of the label. The scanned number is verified in the database and if the number is correct, that will be indicated with a green colour. During visual inspection, it is important to distinguish between critical control points, operational prerequisite programmes and other visual defects. They should not be treated the same way. To distinguish between different types of defects, defects can be assigned to categories. In this example, you see some defects which are assigned to the categories critical control points and operational prerequisite programmes. When the data is stored, the result is shown in the chart. The chart shows if the process is out of control and shows the number of defects per category. Each category has a limit of acceptable defects and if this limit is exceeded, an alarm will be raised. This way, different types of defects can be entered in one attribute chart. Let's see how the torque measurement will be recorded in Datalyzer. The operator starts the torque sequence on the status screen. First, the relevant optional parameters need to be entered again and the operator presses OK so the system is ready to accept the torque measurements. When the system is ready to accept the measurements, the torque measurement is started and the bottles are measured consecutively. When the first bottle is measured, the value is automatically transferred to the chart and the chart is ready to accept the second measurement. This process is repeated until all the bottles are measured. When the last bottle is measured, the operator checks the data entered and if everything is right, he can press OK. If the process is out of control, the operator is asked if they want to enter a note, as in the blow moulding example. However, if you look closely, you will see that the chart is configured differently from the previous examples. Because we measure a lot of positions, the operator is provided with extra information to help find the cause of the problem quickly. In this example, the operator enters a free form note and then the system returns back to the status screen. Measurements can be recorded in different ways. Carbon dioxide, bricks and net content can be measured manually as shown in the video or fully automatically. With automatic measurements, Datalyzer can extract the values from a PLC or from a database and present them to the operator. The example process shows a run above target. The system can be set up to send a mail automatically when a problem is detected. When the process is out of control, there can be different causes. The process of an individual valve might have changed or the total process average might have changed. The type of out of control and the pattern on the control chart can provide the operator with the information to find the cause of the out of control quickly. With less experienced operators, we can assist them by showing an out of control action plan. From the note screen, the operator can start the action plan. This is a flowchart guiding the operator through the procedure of how to handle an out of control process. The screen shows a simplified example. The exit points of the flowchart show a cause and action and they can be selected in the note screen. After a major process change, or if an out of control of the range chart is detected, a different method can be used. In that case, measurements of all individual valves are taken. This information is stored in a control chart with a subgroup size of 96. Several methods can be used simultaneously, and this can be quickly set up in Datalyzer. Datalyzer is used to control variable and attribute product characteristics, but the same methodology can also be used to control downtimes. Downtime can be entered manually or times can be taken automatically from PLCs. The cause of the downtime can be added by operators. 
All information entered on the shop floor is instantly available throughout the company. The QA manager or supervisor can view the status of production on a dashboard in the office. From the dashboard, the QA manager can drill down and view the detailed data to see what is going on at the shop floor. From the moment the data is entered, all information can be used for reporting. This video gave a short introduction to Datalyzer, showing how it is used on the shop floor at Coca-Cola bottling plants.